Hey guys, this is me Hassan and welcome to Hassan Academy. Today again we are going to discuss few PYQs of GPAIR. Previous your question and these are really going to help you a lot. This is part 4. Already we have done 3 part. It's there in channel. Go through channel and watch it. And these are really really very helpful video for you guys. And let me tell you if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe in and keep notification on so that whenever we release video we, you can get it as early as possible and let me tell you share among your friends or anyone you know gpet aspirant or maybe your junior so that if more people watch this video and i feel more excitement to make more videos so let's uh, go to today's question so today's first question is from pharmacology it's saying that prostaglandin analogs having uh, therapeutic utility in the following except so they are asking the except one which is not cured by prostaglandin analog so most of the time uh, this type of question we made mistake like if they are uh, uh, written at the end except or they are written incorrect one or we just give answer correct one because once we saw uh, option we feel like uh, excitement because we already know this answer so uh, due to excitement we make some mistake so anyway so let's find out which disease is not cured by prostaglandin analog first of all they have given number one importance so what it really means importance importance means ed problem ed uh, full form is erectile dysfunction which is basically uh, penis uh, doesn't get proper erection when uh, they are going for sex for that they are not able to do uh, proper uh, sexual intercourse or may maybe you can say they are not able to do proper sex so whatever so this is a major problem nowadays in india and it is uh, the second number pro problem in uh, among men uh, du in during sex uh, after uh, number one is uh, i think premature ejaculation and after that definitely this is the a major problem so uh, some medicine also there and we are pharma people we should not hesitate to talk about it that what is the medicine and how it can be cured because since it is a problem so we should uh, think about cure so erectile uh, dysfunction is cured by pge1 analog that is alprostadil and uh, not only this the most uh, common or popular one which are used those are pde5 inhibitor that is uh, phosphodiesterase enzyme 5 inhibitor that is basically sildenafil is used and uh, these are called biagra tablet or maybe they can give some other name also so sildenafil is used since 2002 and it's widely popular among indian men and uh, but there are a lot of side effects of that sildenafil and they realize that this drug uh, should be changed or need some modification so nowadays there is a modification version of sildenafil that is called tadalafil tadalafil also use and they give same result or better result you can say but it is also has some side effect and the tadalafil also is uh, pd5 inhibitor only and the brand name for tadalafil is i think megalis maybe megalis so anyway so this is number one where uh, prostaglandin analog is definitely used so this is this can be our answer and number two is peripheral vascular disease pvd and here also analog is used prostaglandin so it can be our answer but number three is given treatment of patent ductus arthriosus so this is the disease which may uh, produce due, due to uh, use of prostaglandin analog kind of drug or maybe uh, some other reason also so this uh, definitely in this disease we don't uh, treat by prostaglandin analog since uh, prostaglandin analog itself may cause this type of disease so it, it is our answer number three let me tell you that this disease is cured by basically NSAID what is NSAID it is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug since uh, name itself saying that non steroidal so it is quite safe steroidal moiety is not there steroidal moiety sometimes they are asking chemical name that is 1,2-cyclopentanoparhydrophenanthrin so this is very important sometimes they may ask and at the end last pulmonary hypertension this can be our answer because pulmonary hypertension also cured by prostaglandin analog only so this is uh, number one question um, they may ask many things from here and next year be careful because uh, previous year question uh, even they repeat very less a few question only they repeat but they are repeating the same 
नेसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑलमोस्ट सेम लॉजिक और मे बी सेम टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू मे सी सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन टू हुएर दे हैव गिवन हुएल एंड फ्लेयर रिएक्शन इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक रिएक्शन एसोसिएटेड विद आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ दे हैव गिवन द हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन नेम टाइप वन टाइप टू टाइप थ्री टाइप फोर आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट Uh, I already said that hypersensitivity reaction is there are few types like up to type four is there and they have some specific uh, reason or maybe some explanation for that like type one where uh, IgE is used uh, if you haven't uh, watched that video uh, immunoglobulin you go and watch where I already discuss what is IgE IgM all these things be remember type one is the hypersensitivity reaction where this well and flare is occur basically the here they are saying about inflammation okay and in inflammation chapter you can uh, see some other uh, term also which is uh, used basically meaning for redness and inflammation and one more thing was there i forgot these are some uh, some italic term or some other or anyway type 1 is for hypersensitivity reaction where ige is involved and type 2 hypersensitivity reaction where igg and m is involved and type 3 and type 4 also there and i think type 3 igg and igm also involved for type 2 and 3 anyway i will discuss in details for hypersensitivity reaction you can watch it uh, later on here correct answer is type 1 so let me discuss one more question which is which is chemistry question and chemistry is one of my favorite portion anyway the total number of possible stereo isomers for 3 bromo 2 butanol are here basically they have given the iupac name so whenever they are giving a iupac name you are able to uh, write the structure draw the structure or at least you are able to imagine the structure so that you can uh, do the answer because Uh, they are asking the stereo isomers. So, what is the uh, formula for stereo isomers? That is, two to the power n, and n here is chiral center, or you may say uh, asymmetric carbon if it is only carbon. Anyway, ca chiral center is n, and if we are able to find out the number of chiral center, we can put he in this formula, and we can find out the stereo isomers, total number of stereo isomers. so they have said about butanol and whenever they said this type of or like butanol or pentanol anything just draw first of all carbon so but is there draw four carbon then they have said that two butanol that means oh group in number two position just draw here oh and uh, if since it is two position uh, this will be three and in three position we can draw bro bromine and just after that um, fill up the carbon valence so now let's check how many chiral center is there chiral center is the center which is attached with four different group so this carbon is attached with three ch3 and one carbon so this can be chiral center then this carbon is attached with four different group definitely you can see and this one also attached with four different group and this carbon again attached with three hydrogen so it can be our option so one and two so number of chiral carbon n equal to 2 so we need to put here 2 to the power 2 that is 4 so our correct answer is b4 so whenever they ask this type of question first of all it is my advice to you just draw the structure try to find out the number of chiral center then uh, put in formula though you are able to imagine please uh, just once draw there and try to uh, draw the correct structure and find out the correct number of chiral center uh, in uh, gped exam they will give you some page also so that you can uh, use your pen pen and paper so this is the number last question number 4 which where they are asking which of the following drugs can be imported without a license so they are uh, as, uh, talking about imported of drugs and without a license which not possible at all but uh, if you read very carefully the options even you don't know the answer you can find out the answer the reason is number 1 they have said here drugs specified in schedule h so schedule h drug prescription is required so there is no way th this can be our answer number b drugs specified in schedule x this is more 
tough than schedule age so this can be our answer also and number three if you read very carefully what they have written basically drugs is schedule c1 required for man manufacturing and not for medicinal use so this is the most important line not for medicinal use so definitely we can import this type of um, see uh, this type of drug which is not using for medical medicinal purpose so this is our correct answer <coughs> sorry number d they have given drugs is schedule c it was c1 and it is c required for manufacturing and for medicinal use if it is for medicinal use it can be an, our answer since they have mentioned here not for medicinal use this is our correct answer so let me tell you that i already made uh, pharmaceutical jurisprudence all the uh, year different act and their uh, year and some other things maybe i discuss in the video please watch that video i don't think many people watch only 20 30 people watch that video i don't know what is the reason behind please watch that video also and uh, try to learn some other concept thank you for watching and keep sharing this video thank